and we're on Lago di Trasimano. As you can see, there's one person. I don't know if you can see them in swimming in front of me. So it's like a little beach um, club that they have along the edge of the lake. It's very, still very misty. It's been grey. It's really um, clearing up very, very well, but it's still a kind of a misty kind of day, so you're not getting a really clear view, but this is a lovely place here. There's people sitting here drinking and eating. Very nice little beach club. Lots of cicadas. And we just stopped to have a little look, seeing we were right on the edge of the lake, but we'll head, keep on heading down now to San Feliciano, which I believe is a sweet little village, from what I understand, I hope. And then we're headed down to the south of the lake. We're doing the whole circumference, basically, of Lake Trasimano today because our friends live on the other side of the lake, but way around the other side, basically, the opposite side to where we are now. And then we will be spending the night there with them. wandered up the pontoon here at San Feliciano. The boat is just about to leave, which we had no intention of catching boats today. We're doing other things, but we just wanted to see what was going on here. And there's the beautiful island there that the boat will be taking people to visit, which I did just zoom in on, that you'll see before. Um, and that's called Isola Polverse. But Lago di Trasimano has quite a few little island. Um, I think there's one just over there in the distance that we saw before when we were driving. There are a couple right up the north of the island. Oh, actually, that's probably them. Sorry, I'm getting my... Yes, because we're on the east, so they're the northern ones. Isola di Polverse. Then there is another one further across. So there are a few. And the surrounds we're finding of the lake are just beautiful. I really had no idea. I'd never been around Lake Lago di Trasimano before, Lake Trasimano. The water's quite a sort of a green color today. I don't know whether it's because of the funny color of the sky, but there are people in swimming and I believe it's very clean. Um, we've just gone by a lot of camping grounds that look like really sweet camping grounds, don't they, David? Really, really nice with little beaches. Very popular. The car parks in them looked pretty full. But it's very sleepy around here. It's very sleepy as you drive along. Um, so I think even though it's probably popular with people that know about it, it's not really that well known. And because you've got the lake and you've got the water and lots of camping grounds, lots of little, um, we're seeing lots of little, you know, places along the lake to eat and drink and pizzerias and stuff, it'd be a really laid back place to come for a holiday. If you're into that kind of thing, Absolutely. If you're into sailing, paddle balling, I noticed there was a little sailboat back there before. Um, you're not allowed to do it apart from these boats. From what, I think, from what I remember by reading somewhere, you can do kayaking and paddle boarding. They don't allow other power boats, which I think is awesome. They're wanting to keep the the lake very quiet and clean. So I don't think you can take out a lot of, you might be able to take out your own little boat maybe with one of those electric motors on it. Um, but, you know, you don't see people running around in skidoos and, and big, you know, speed boats and things. So it's completely quiet. That's the first boat engine we've heard or seen as we've been driving along. And as you can see, they're headed straight now to Isola Polverse for their tour. So we're going to have a little wander along. It's quite warm now that the sun's coming out, isn't it, David? But luckily, there's a little bit of a breeze today, so it's not as scorching as it has been. It's and it's, cool. it's lovely. And if you can see, sorry, Dunning, I was just going to stop. Um, you can see a bell tower and a church there. That's going to just be the little tiny village of San Feliciano, which we're going to just wander and have a little sticky beak there and see what's going on there and we did see a few nice places as well for eating and drinking along the lakefront so we've got the car in the shade and we'll have a nice little walk around
so we found a little kiosk. It's called, and um, we're just sitting here with a whole lot of other people, relaxing. Ah, eccola. Thank you. Grazie. Stavo guardando il cielo lì, che penso... Sta, sta venendo, no? Un po' di pioggia. I was just saying to the last, I was looking at the sky over there and it's getting a little bit dark. I think we might get some rain again, which was expected today. But anyway, we're sitting here right behind us. There's a little covered tent. So if we have to run, we'll just run straight under the tent, aren't we, Danny? Temporarily. We've actually just moved undercover. We're in the little tent now because it's thundering and we could feel it coming our way and we thought, let's get here before the crowd does. <laughs> and we didn't want our beautiful lunch to get um, ruined. I just got a really small, what they call a mix salad, but it looks absolutely delightful. And David got a mm. lovely panino, but it's a actually lovely dark bread panino, mm. which looks delicious. So just for a little beachside kiosk, we're, we're pretty thrilled. Lovely fresh lunch. Bon mm. appetito, amore. Other than being storm uh, chasers, like some people are in the States, we're storm evaders. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that really bizarre storm formation there. We just escaped it where we were having lunch and it just started to sprinkle as we left because I said to David, I think it's coming this way and now it's dumping. I can see, can you see that cloud is literally dumping water on that little island that was opposite us. So we would now be there stuck in that little kiosk under that really large kind of vicious looking storm. I can see that island totally under dumping rain now in the distance. So as we head south, it seems to be a little bit clearer, although it does seem to be wanting to follow us. But at least we're on the road again now and moving away from it rather than sitting there waiting it out. But they are pretty impressive looking clouds, aren't they, over the lake? Look at that. The sheep are just wandering along the side of the road eating in the storm. You're obviously not bothered by the storm, don't you? There was an agri turismo here, so obviously they just free range around. So just for a moment, we're facing the clear where the storm was and now it's behind us. So I thought I'd just quickly show you how beautiful it is. And after Panicale, where we've just arrived now, we're heading to Castiglione del Lago, which I think is that lovely peninsula there. And I'll zoom in for you. So here is the beautiful arched entrance into the main square of Panicale, so let's go. I'm on Piazza del Municipio, it says, but now I'm sure as I enter here I'll be entering. And there's the map entering into the, now what's this, Piazza Umberto, I think this is called, from the map. And we looked at homes here, but we never found what we could afford to be honest with you we saw beautiful places it's quite exy here um, for us anyway and you can understand why because it's really quite beautiful isn't it isn't that stunning so let's find somewhere to keep out of the storm and see as much as we can just beautiful We're trying to read the numbers to work it out, so I'll have to study that after and work out what it is. But the little fountain's just gorgeous. And that beautiful panel with Jesus up on the side of the castle walls is just stunning with the gold mosaics. I've all just also just noticed that amazing plaque with inscription with the woman at the top. I'm going to zoom in to show you. It's just stunning. I'm not sure what is written on it. Obviously, I can't see with my eyesight from here, but I'll have to have a closer look after. 
Let me zoom in for you. Now let's wander up here. So yes, this is Piazza Umberto Primo. Look at the patina on these walls. Oh, I just love these colors and these patinas so much. Look at that little tiny turret <laughs> of sorts. Maybe there's a circular staircase inside, but the walls of the castle buildings and all the buildings here are absolutely stunning. Lillo Tatini Cafe Ristorante. And goodness, we've just come from thunder above us to bright blue sky and sun and I've left my sunglasses in the car because we rushed off thinking it was going to rain. There's David. Isn't it stunning? Let me get out of this glare for you and then I'll let that man photograph what he's photographing and turn around and show you now the front. Those beautiful turquoise green colour doors and that's Michele Arcangelo so my guy uncle the art angel angel I can't speak English anymore Archangel Michael who is also one of my angels who I pray to by the way and up 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 to the beautiful bell tower oh these buildings are just glorious I knew that it was a pretty place. I didn't know it was quite so beautiful. So let's spin around now. Boldrino, it says on the plaque. Fierissimo condottiero, condottiero. Dalla vittoria sempre coronato. Fausto agli amici, in Fausto ai nemici. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at this building. And this extraordinary arch, David was pointing for me to look up there, but there were some people standing there. Oh, look at this lovely fountain <laughs> sitting on the. And I'll just move back and pan up there for you. Isn't that pretty? It goes up into a gorgeous walkway and piazza with more houses up there. I'll take you up there now. So we're just walking up now under that very tall arch and little bridge if you like that I just showed you from below isn't this quaint these gorgeous little houses beautiful brick and stone work of the walls isn't this beautiful with all these pots that's how I want our outside to look David yeah. green everywhere lots of pretty pots actually I was looking at those the other day planted they're begonias now they mm -hmm. seem to be very tolerant because they're a, one of those other plants that hold the water themselves yeah, yeah. but they get those pretty flowers mm. so that yeah, might be a really sure. good alternative sure. to geraniums we're having trouble with geraniums the hydrangeas mm -hmm. for the shade we're having trouble with geraniums because of the severe heat and they don't like too much water they don't like it when they don't get enough they get burnt we're finding a lot of the plants are getting burnt they're begonias they're it's the same thing but red mm -hmm. so they are perfect because they are almost like a succulent plant in many ways isn't this just delightful look at that little balcony up above david mm -hmm. see how that little yeah. balcony looks yes. full of things isn't it gorgeous little one there someone just tried to ring me that will be my friend sue and look at this little pussycat here sound asleep sound asleep oh hello Nietzsche. we didn't want to wake you <laughs> this is so delightful david's taking a picture of the pussycat aren't you darling mm -hmm. i love this palm tree here as well that's a bit impressive isn't it in a big pot See how they've covered the bottom of it with some old tiles, called terracotta yes. tiles, to protect its its base. Mm. So let's walk through here. Ah, 
I just received a message. Oh gosh, look at this, David. Look at this. Oh gosh. Wow. And this beautiful little piazza. Oh, and blue sky. Look at that. We've got the blue sky back. Oh, that's just amazing. All the lovely geraniums. Oops, just missed a little step. So this is, there's a little water fountain there. Let's walk over and see what kind of vista we've got over here. This looks like it would have a lovely outlook. And this is Palazzo del Podesta. And it's 14th century. So they have, it holds the archives inside here as well. It's part of the Percorso Museale Cittadino. So in other words, it's on their little uh, percorso or track, track you can follow around of different museums or museum buildings, which is very beautiful. Oh, David, look at those vistas out there now, darling. Isn't that gorgeous? So we've got, oh, all the pretty roofs. Look at all those gorgeous terracotta roofs and all the little chimneys. How glorious. Thank you, Sky, for clearing so beautifully after that storm. That's exactly what we needed, in fact. We needed the sky to clear and to get rid of all that awful humidity, just starting to lift. So the lake is just back over there. And all the fields have had a nice dumping now, honestly. All the fields are going to be so happy. Piazza Massolino and Palazzo del Podesta. There we go. Little explanation there for you. Another little pussycat. They're all coming outside now after the storm. Another little walkway down there that looks delightful. And another walkway, oh gosh, hard to know which way to go, isn't it? Well, it looks like David's decided. So, that looks pretty. Il Giardino di San Michele. Beautiful garden through there. Let's follow down this way and see what we find. David just lifted his eyebrows, so I think he's thinking that it's very pretty. Which way to go? I just saw a man run that way. It looks like you can run all the way around the walls. Now that's going to take us back to where we've just come from, I think. Oh, so maybe this way? Which way would you like to go? Let's just have a look and see. We can't make up our minds, but look at all these pretty little garden beds and things we're finding everywhere. Oh, it's just gorgeous. If that looks like it's going to go too far in the wrong direction, we can always back up. Mm. Oh, these people are even growing zucchinis. And there's a nice mm -hmm. zucchini growing back there, tomatoes, mm -hmm. in their front garden, so to speak. Will we head back the other way, darling, do you think? I think so, for this one go. Okay. Just enjoying all the lovely exteriors of all these beautiful homes. And David and I were just saying to one another, you can see it's very well lived in and very well loved. It's always an absolute pleasure to come to villages or towns that you can see are so, so loved by the inhabitants. And they take such great care. Everything is kept beautifully and people have pot plants and flowers everywhere. Oh, we've done a little circle now. So I think what we need to do now is take that little street that was off the other side. But I think first, I think I'm going to be going. Can we go in here? Let's have a look in the church. You see the windows? Beautiful. The sun's going to be shining. Oh, let's go and have a look in there. Oh my goodness, wow. Look at those stained glass windows. Oh, it's beautiful. It's very dark and so... It has an amazing atmosphere in it. My gracious me, it's so dark because the lights aren't on, but you can see it 
quite spectacular. Can you see those incredible chandeliers? And the ceilings. Oh my goodness gracious. What a beautiful, beautiful church. Oh, I'd love to attend a mass in here. It must be incredible when the singing starts. What an atmosphere that's been around because we did see, oh, there's more of that beautiful stained glass at the back as well. I hope you're getting the colors. I'll take some photos as well. I can't believe how beautiful this is. crucifixion and you have the Jesus lying there. There were three crucifixes and then that beautiful Eucharist window underneath the cupola. This is just one of the side altars. I'm going to just film the explanation because it's so dark and so tiny that I won't be able to understand or read it for you. Let me see if I can find the English. Oh, here we go. After a little coffee stop, we're now just wandering through a few more of these little back alleyways and under all the arches and just discovering all the different little homes, lovely wall colours, patina, which we love. Not sure if this one ends up anywhere in particular, but just meandering as you do. I'm trying to stay in out of the sun as much as possible, which is impossible. Well, there's plenty of shade under these arches, which is great. Look at that beautiful doorway. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at these pretty colour walls here. What do you think of Panikale, darling? That's a wonderful little town. It's so it's gorgeous. We're so yeah. glad we came. Just lots um, of little alleyways and uh, you know, tunnels, tunnels. It's a special we call mm, them that. It's like great big long tunnels yeah, under yeah. the building is because it's the archways under the buildings. Yeah. They're beautiful and they're cool. Yeah. And we can understand now why we looked here. And mm. we can also understand probably why we couldn't have bought it at the yeah, time. It is so, a because it really is town, it, it's pretty sure. special. Mm. Yeah. So you can probably hear that lovely twinkling. So we're just in front of the fountain here mm. of the square where we just had coffee down under the red in that, but it's just glorious. So we're so mm. glad we came. But now we're off to Castiglione del Lago and yeah. then to see our lovely buttons. Yes. So we'll see you later. Ciao. <laughs> as ja as um, David was just saying when we were by the fountain, it is like walking through tunnels because we're walking under these massive buildings where literally they've created arch after arch after arch, which creates these lovely cool shaded tunnels that you walk through to get from one, one spot to the other. But it adds to the architectural charm and splendor of the, yes, it's beautiful. Just gorgeous walls, beautiful buildings. So let's see where this one takes us down here. Sometimes they don't end up anywhere in particular, but we just like to just have a little look. Oh, the cicadas are back at it again. <laughs> as soon as the sun come back out after the storm and the 
understand the cigar that starts up again. Both the homes here have really pretty enclosed gardens, we've noticed as well. We've seen beautiful gardens all over the place. Which is really lovely inside a closed, sort of walled town like this. So look up there, for example, that's where we were before, and I can see one beautiful closed garden here, and another garden up beyond, with all that beautiful wisteria, which seems to be blooming again. Oh, bravo. So we'll head back to the car, and head on our way then to our next stop on the lake, which looks really lovely. Castiglione del Lago and then that's it for today we head to our friends after that back through this awesome tunnel that breeze is glorious I can tell you we've just arrived in Castiglione del Lago and the first thing first thing we've been carded are these beautiful stairs <laughs> more lovely stairs on a lovely hot day what else would you want but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Oh, this really was worth it, I'm sure. This looks pretty awesome. Oh, there was more parking up here, David. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> How did we get up here, though? Why did we not know that? Gosh, that's awesome. So that's obviously the really old city up in there, yeah. So this fortified part, or walled part up here, where you can see there's a porta, una porta there to get inside, is sitting right on the end of a peninsula that juts out into Lake Trasimano. I think that's where we were before, just over there on the other side because we were looking directly over at it. And there's a new town that's built up around it, as you can see. But this looks really special. We're just entering the, the Porta, as I said, of Castiglione. So we're Oh, that's lovely. We're in another lovely walled hilltop sort of fortress, literally, which is quite, quite touristy by the looks of things. I wasn't expecting that, but lots of lovely stores, some really lovely timber products. Lovely chopping board. I actually do really need a lovely chopping board for home eventually. So we've understood by already seeing just a couple of shops that Castiglione obviously specialise in lovely um, timber products because we went past the other timber shop which was gorgeous and now this one has all different kinds of lovely tagliere paddles if you like. This also is full of lots of yummy food by looks of things. <laughs> and then as I spin around I'm oh David I know what he's pointing at. I was looking at this lovely square but David has just found a huge red very apparent side for gelato and he said to me just we early. need <laughs> gelato so you know where we're heading this very moment isn't this lovely though that's a very pretty balcony on that house that's gorgeous and blue sky has come back to join us gelato time <coughs> that's the view back to the top of that beautiful tower on top of the church that I missed before. There we go. Gorgeous. So, flavours that we chose. David has arancha 
with something else. I can't remember what it said. Arancha, but it's made with Greek, Greek yogurt. yogurt. Mm. And I have limone. But what we both chose was Voldemort. Now, if you're a Harry Potter fan, mm -hmm. it's like literally death by chocolate. Oh. <laughs> and they've called it Voldemort, mm. which we just couldn't <laughs> resist. <laughs> so it's gelato time. Chin, mm. darling. Cheers. Let's get Cheers. into these because in this heat, they will melt before yeah. you blink your eye. <laughs> David's saying it's just insane. I just saw the front of this building. It's all in relief. In other words, that's not flat. That's all in relief. It's carved or it's plaster work. I don't know how. Oh my gosh, above the front door. That's incredible. I'll take some close up photos, but that's an extraordinary facade. Side of that beautiful building. I just wanted to take it there in the shade and then just spin around. Some of the stores. Oh, that's that beautiful church back there, but we'll go back in there on our way back. So now we just head down here. Lots of little stores along the way. It's very pretty, and we're headed up, I think, to where the actual castle is at the other end. So it's the whole peninsula, so to speak. Another really pretty, I think it's a hotel restaurant perhaps. That's so sweet. Oh yes, it's a lovely restaurant. Gorgeous, all the jasmine. I can smell the jasmine as I walk by. Oh, it smells beautiful. And then we've got, what have we got here? All these pretty little plants and things here. Just a little plant store perhaps. Oh no, it's just all decorated as a little, oh look, with a piggy. And this one is street food, gourmet, porco matto, the mad pig. How cute is that? An hour or so. David's just saying it's going to kick off in an hour or so. Yeah, it's still a bit warm. Ristorante La Cantina. It's, you can see it's just sort of started again for the afternoon because it's only just about four o'clock, isn't it? Something like that. And yeah. a lot of places don't open again until five. Um, a lot of the little tourist places seem to be open. Oh, look at this. Oh, gosh, that's beautiful. Ristorante La Cantina Aurora. Wow, that's gorgeous with the view over the lake. That's where we would come back and eat. Just admiring this very unusual piece of modern art. These incredible palms. And then we have the Palazzo. So, oh, someone just stood in front of the name, but I think it said De La Cornia Rocca Medievale. So we've come to the very end. We were just saying, we always park in the wrong spot. We could have driven all the way up here, but then we wouldn't have got all the exercise. We need to do our steps. You can see the fortress in the the distance as well. The municipio. Ah. Percorso ingresso. David just pointed for me to walk in here and I wondered why. My goodness gracious. Look at that. And I'll just Oops, turn around because look at this urn in the corner as well. That is one mighty beautiful urn. So straight after the museum building, it actually tells us we're at the entrance to the fortress from Palazzo della Cornia. And of course, there's the fortress there, but it was interesting also to see, oh, all these beautiful, very, very old olive trees. They're gorgeous. And this large 
ochre colored building here is actually a hospital. So I can imagine once upon a time it probably wasn't. It was probably, it looks like a really lovely building that may have been a very large villa at some stage. David's just looking at these lovely olive groves. They're beautiful old trees. David was just saying that there's a cinema in the tower. We're just wandering up through the olive groves. I just love old olive trees. Look at the shade under these beautiful old trees here. Let me show you this one here that's split into three stems. Look at that, aren't they wonderful? <gasps> they have a soul, these old olive trees, don't you think? I don't know, this is something so magical. Oh, look at this one, it's like two lovers holding hands. David, come and check out this tree. That reminds me of David and I. I just said that I think this tree looks like two lovers holding hands. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's like you and I looking at each other. Oh, they're just... Yeah. There's two beautiful trees, mm. or whether it's one that was split in two, but it's like twin flames, isn't it, that are mm. holding on to each other forever. Yeah. Love it. in here and you can see seats set up so we're just going to walk across and see where they hold that so this is inside we've walked into the fortress falls as you can tell and the cicadas are well i'm surely alive in that tree just there oh and there's even a little kiosk in here david yep. it's a little kiosk Look at these beautiful trees. Again, gosh, this is an old olive tree. Look at that one. Look at that. That's been there a while. And look at this. They have wonderful evening cinema. Wouldn't this be fun? That would be awesome at night time. Oh, that would be so great. A lot of people can sit here. It's got a lot of seating. That's a wonderful spot to hold the cinema. How clever. I just love how the Italians use everything for something new. It's wonderful bringing things back to life. Unfortunately, we're now just walking towards the sun. And it's incredibly hot. <laughs> must be getting close to 5 p.m. I suppose. We were just saying we've done about close to 9,000 steps today, but it feels like we've done 15,000 because of course every single one of them has been done in such extreme heat. Oh my, yet another one that's so impressive. My goodness.
so we've just turned into the road that leads down to our friend's house. I was here last October when of course there were no sunflowers. Look at this. So this beautiful villa and farm on top of the hill. I didn't realise grew sunflowers, David's favourites. So we've just turned in, I said to David, oh my gosh darling, look at this, just for you. All these beautiful sunflowers as we drive along. And then, I don't know if you can see, but Lake Cusey is just down there on the horizon. Now this is going to be a little bit bumpy, they're on a white dirt road. But, um, and Sue drives 10 times faster than David's driving, of course, because when you know the road, you zoom along it, don't you? <laughs> dirt or no dirt. There we go, now there's a lovely clear view of the lake down in front. Which I didn't get to see much last time in all honesty because the weather didn't permit and over to the right you've got Monte Pulciano over on one of those hills um, I don't know whether I can point it out to you no probably not not with the Sun against me but it really is very 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 pretty countryside as you can see and we're just headed straight ahead just down here in this little hammock that's where tonight's pit stop is tonight so right in the heart of the Umbrian country and it's just glorious what do you think David is it awesome. pretty it's yeah pretty. it's very pretty it's not a town, that's it for sure, sure is <laughs> well town I'm not mm. sure I don't know if I'd call this town but it really is a pretty part of the country that's for certain so let's go and see Sue and Fiona whoops bump 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 Good evening from beautiful Umbria. Look at this glorious sunset that we're experiencing. Oh, it's just so lovely. Let me take you away. Oh, the, the sun is, the camera is sort of adjusting to the different light, so it does look like it's changing, doesn't it, as I come around. But we're just here in the country, no, surrounded by it's fields. It's oh, has it? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that lovely? You'll, you'll still get it. 